Yo, what's going on, y'all boys, man? Y'all already know what time it is, man. We back again with another reaction ski. Yeah! <laughs> and today we have another sad case of these kids must. When I say must, I mean must be stopped. But before I get into anything, man, I'm gonna need y'all boys to go crazy on that like button, man. It will literally take five seconds out your day, bro. Like, honestly, five seconds, all you have to do is just smash the like button, bro. Like, I mean, I've been telling y'all, some of y'all do, some of y'all don't, but look, let me tell y'all something, bro. The more likes this video get, the higher that it ranks, man. So why not? Let's get this video to number one, bro, honestly. Why not? Let's go ahead and get this video to number one. All you have to do is smash the like button. It'll literally take five seconds out today. Just scroll down and click it. But look, hey, I don't want to say too much to get it to a man. But look, today's title is Mother Hands Out Free A Kicking Tickets to Middle School Bullies. You know what I'm saying? Right, this is a sad episode. Sad. A sad, <laughs> sad episode of these bullies must be stopped. Honestly. You know, so I guess a mother went up to the school and handed out free a whooping kicking to a kicking tickets to uh, uh, to the kids at the, at the elementary school i guess for her daughter so i don't know i mean we go look into it right now it's on the screen everybody in their life have dealt with a bully probably elementary school preschool whatever it was to where you just wasn't sure you know and a lot of y'all are probably bullies like if i'm being honest a lot of y'all probably are bullies if i if i can be serious bro like honestly you know but I have seen a lot of situations like this play out. Uh, actually, at my school one time, um, an adult actually came to the school and dang near corrected everybody in the class and somebody recorded it and it somehow went kind of viral, but not too viral. We had parents come up to my middle school and wait outside and literally was about to fight this, uh, I think it was a guy or something that was uh, teasing this girl, you know, and uh, it, it's, you can just imagine, you know, I mean, in the middle school seeing adults go at these kids like this like you just like dang and then you know you go back to school and then y'all talk about it so it just it, it, it somehow just plays its part you know but um y'all let me know a crazy story that happened with y'all if uh you know y'all have been in a situation like this where a mother had came up to y'all school a father or anybody you know a parent somebody your friend's parent whoever y'all know basically i'm just saying an adult came and confronted the whole class about bullying or to respect their daughter or son's uh space you know and not and not to tease them and basically leave them alone y'all know what i'm saying i don't got to say too much but y'all get the vibes man y'all get the deal y'all already know man the boys on facebook facebook with it as well man so y'all boys want to come and follow me on facebook man all y'all boys have to do is click that first link down below in the description man i'm on facebook with it now too y'all boys be talking about like y'all want to follow me on the book y'all want to y'all want to be tuned but y'all boys don't like do nothing I say. Like, y'all niggas don't even smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even follow me on Facebook. You know, I got the link down below in the description, and I'm going to pin it in the comments. So if y'all boys want to come and show me some love, man, y'all boys just come and drop a follow, drop a like, whatever, comment, whatever it is, man. Just come on over to the side, man. I ain't discriminating none of that. I just need some type of love support, man. So let's get it. I think I said it enough. Y'all get the vibe, man. Y'all get the deal. So let's go to get to this video right now, man. Like I said, smash the like button. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay. I'm not finna go too far up, but free A kicking tickets, okay? A California, I got the video right here too. Um, a California mother was banned from a Laguna, a Laguna, Laguna uh, Niguel Middle School after a video recorded by a student and posted online shows her threatening her daughter's bullies in the classroom before leaving them a little something to remind her by. <laughs> Kristen Tinsley told, she was banned, okay. K, uh, KCLA, KCAL, the profanity lace rent Recorded by a student in the class, followed numerous requests to schools officials to stop several boys from repeatedly bullying her daughter, who begged her to stay in the car when she was dropped. Uh, when she dropped the child off at Nigel, uh, Nig yeah, I think got to be Nigel uh, Hills Middle School on Tuesday. Look closely at the tickets left in the classroom by a mom in Orange County. This is in Cali. She went on a rant after uh, she says bullies won't leave her daughter alone. I'm not gonna lie. This ticket, this is this must have been real. So I guess she really like handed somebody this ticket, right? So this, yeah, this is honestly real. So I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people was probably looking at that. <laughs> That's crazy. She really handed them tickets. Like, wow. And she had to 
art to uh, the, the art what's that called you know the the mindset to really print them out we finna get to the video soon y'all then she made a comment to me that if she wasn't as strong as she was she would have herself tensely said that's when her mama beer uh bear mo went into effect our uh, mama bear mo went into effect y'all let me see y'all think y'all bullies i'm a big bully oh uh, that's what she told them y'all think y'all bullies i'm a big bully tensely told students from the head of the classroom let that be known and understood that leave my daughter alone and i mean it sisters aunts anyone over 18 i them all up and you understand me tensely said leave them leave my daughter alone if i have to go to every class i'll do that tensely tensely also left a uh parting gift for her child's tormentors who she claims have harassed the girls on social media in class and her walks home after school one boy was suspended after a school investigation found he harassed her harassed the girl but tensely uh con contends contends and only made in the matters worse so let's see that's right you guys and there is more of this video that i'm going to show you in just a second we had to bleep out all of the profanity wow. but i also want to show you these tickets that the mother left behind in that classroom at the school behind me here now i crossed off one bad word but it says free blank kicking must be 18 or older to redeem mm. she's a girl y'all are boys okay if y'all bully my daughter, if you look at her the wrong way, if you breathe the wrong way. The Orange County Dang. mother who ranted and threatened students using profanity in her daughter's classroom at Nigel Hills Middle School Tuesday. She told them, if you so far is breathe the wrong way around my daughter. The fact that the teacher, hey, I ain't gonna lie, W teacher, W moms in the chat, spam it down below. I'm gonna need a thousand W's in the comments. I need everybody spamming the comments with W mom down below. Literally. W mom, W teacher. Like, this is this is facts. Anybody over 18, I'll f them all up. Do you understand me? Oh, really? she said anybody over 18, she'd F them all up. Realizes she may not have handled her frustrations in the right way. She did. Do you still think that was the appropriate way to handle it? I don't, but I do think that sometimes if you've done everything you can do the way you're supposed to do it and it hasn't been resolved, then sometimes as a parent, as a mother, as someone above the, of the age of 18, you have to decide if you're willing to go a step further and deal with any consequences. Christian Tinsley claims her daughter has been bullied by a group of boys for months, yet despite disciplinary action, it's still going on, she says. So she came to class uninvited and her outburst was recorded on a student's cell phone. I ain't finna lie. That don't look like no mother. Let me go back real quick. This is, I guess this is her. This is her. Done everything you can do the way. She look like she's 19 years old, honestly. You were supposed to do it and it hasn't been resolved. Then sometimes as a parent, as a mother, as someone above the, of the age of 18, you have to decide if you're willing to go a step further and deal with any consequences. Christian Tinsley claims her daughter has been bullied by a group of boys for months. Yet despite disciplinary action, it's still going on, she says. So she came to class uninvited and her outburst was recorded on a student's cell phone. Y'all think y'all bullies? I'm a big bully, okay? Ooh. Let that be known and understand that. Leave my daughter alone and I mean it. And if I have to come up here again, it's going to be problems. Capistrano Dang. Unified School District officials say Tinsley didn't follow school rules and is now banned from campus. Hmm. This mother worries about school security and how this could happen. It's always the Karen. Look at Karen and Karen talking to each other. Let's see what she say. I'm wondering how she got in the classroom. I'm wondering how she was allowed to go on with that, her speech there, and so nobody stopped her, and security wasn't called right away, and how she was allowed to talk to the kids like that, that's unacceptable. According to the principal, the teacher asked for help from the front office as Tinsley was yelling. In a statement to families, Tim Reese added, when a parent or student shares concerns about bullying or harassment with administration, teachers or staff, they are immediately investigated at our school site and both students and their parents are contacted. Christian Tinsley admits this occurred, but when I was dropping her off, told me that she didn't want to go to school. And then she made a comment she to me wrong. that if she wasn't as strong as she was, she would have killed herself. Wow. And so that's when mama bear mode went into effect. 
Now, the sheriff's deputies from the Orange County Sheriff's Department are looking into this, and they want to warn parents that they will investigate anyone who comes onto a school campus and creates a disturbance. Those investigators are working with the district attorney's office to determine if any crimes were committed here and if any charges should be filed against that mom. That's the latest live in Laguna Niguel. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Don't, a hey, real stuff. If they try to charge this parent for her expressing her feelings, like, honestly, if my kid would have been in there, I would never have been mad because only the people that's going to be mad is the people who are guilty. You know what I'm saying? For Karen get on there, like, how does she even get in the building? It's always a white person. I ain't going to say it's always a white person, okay? It's always a Karen who just not minding their business. Honestly, like Karen, all you have to do is mind your business and just keep going. You want to give your two and three cent when nobody asks for a, a penny. Like, honestly, it's always going like that. But if you ask me, I mean, she should not be charged. Let me see. School officials urge ten, uh, tensely not to confront the bullies or their parents herself. And she knew she would likely get banned from her lecture. But she claims there are more important things to worry about. Mm. Some Sometimes if you're done everything that you can do. Uh, the way that you're supposed to do it and it hasn't been resolved and sometimes you have to decide if you're willing to go a step further to deal with the consequences. She said, and I was prepared for that because my daughter is number one. You know what I'm saying? Let's read this a little bit. That's all. And then we'll be done reading. You know, if you look at her the wrong way, if you breathe the wrong way, send your mom to me. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, she on it. You know what I said? Tisley told the students leaving, leaving them with a uh, souvenir, what did I say? Souvenir of her visit little paper tickets good for a free kicking through the fine print step uh uh stipulates must be 18 older to redeem <laughs> miguel hills principal tim reese told the orange county sheriffs in an email then the teacher in the classroom called the front office during the Tinsley lecture and an assistant principal escorted her from the building Tinsley is now a band from campus as she wrote when a parent or a student shares concerns about bullying or harassment with administrators uh, administration teachers or staffs that there are immediately investigated at our school site and both students and their parents are contacted reese claimed in a statement sent to families schools officials also said the orange county sheriff's department is investigating intensely action to determine if she violated any laws at least one parent of the students at school told kcla kcal he doesn't fault the mother for taking matters into her own hands. It's facts. I'm certain that that wasn't her first step of trying to to deal with this, to dealt with, to this dealt with. Okay. First step of trying to this dealt with. Okay. I knew I wouldn't trip out there. I got me feeling like I can't read. They just can't type. To um an identi to unidentified father said, I'm sure she's talked to the people and no one was taking care of business. And a mother or a father is going to do what they do, what they need to do to protect their child. That's facts. Okay. Now I'm 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 gonna tell you this right here. That Karen that got herself on the screen, I can promise y'all that she didn't agree with nothing because her kid wasn't in a in a in a limelight. Her kid wasn't the one that was being bullied. Probably her kid was the one that was bullying, if I'm being honest with you. You know, but I don't know. Like I said, y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below. Is this something that y'all agree on? You know, excuse me. Had to burp, but this is something that I agree on. Y'all can let me know y'all thoughts down below. Like I said, this is a W mom in my book. I know what I'm saying. Y'all can literally spam W's down below for this mother because everything she had done, everything that she did was right. You know what I mean? she uh, If you're 18 or older, you can't redeem it. They probably not 18 or older yet, but they're going to be sometime soon. So you you still feeling some type of way? Cashing that ticket and go. And she said, you can get your mom. Like she own it, you know? So like I said, I feel like what the mom was saying I agree with, you know, I feel like the route she went, I agree with as well. I mean, y'all can say I'm wrong. Y'all can agree, disagree, whatever it is, but I mess with it. W moms down below. I'm going to need everybody to spam that, man. Make sure y'all boys enjoy this reaction, that you smash the like button, comment, and also subscribe for your boy. You know what I'm saying? But remember, when you subscribe, you have to hit that post notification bell to get notified when your boy posts another banger or the subscribe does not count. I promise y'all, you know, and also, like I said, Follow me on Facebook right now, man. The boy got a like page up. Say, our boy, come and follow me, man. Let's go to get to 10,000 followers right now. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. And let's get the video to 10,000 comments, man. Let's get it. Let's go. We out.